White House seized by terrorists. Wait a minute, we did this show already. If you are just tuning in, we are going to breaking news out of Washington. I'm Bill Newcott, and this just in from Washington, D.C. President Jamie Foxx has been taken hostage in the White House. His captors are threatening. No, listen, no, we already did this show. It was months ago. Bill, that was a totally different movie. Olympus has fallen. This one's called White House Down. It's a totally different movie. In theaters. Do you have the target? His captors are threatening his life, and his only hope is Channing Tatum, a D.C. cop who's hiding in the White House. Oh, come on. I'm telling you, we did this show already. Really? Well, do they at least get a discount if they see both of them? My job, my curse, is to vanquish evil. I loved Van Helsing when it opened in theaters way back in 2004. It starts out in black and white like an old universal horror flick. And Hugh Jackman is great as a sort of 19th century James Bond ghostbuster. But nobody saw it, and that's why I'm glad it's being re-released on DVD and Blu-ray. Trust me, you'll love this. Question of the day. Who played both Dracula and Frankenstein in the old Universal movies? Stick around for the answer. If you haven't subscribed to the Movies or Grown Ups channel yet, well, what are you waiting for? Click right here. <laughs> to celebrate its 90th birthday, Warner Brothers is releasing a set of their 50 greatest Looney Tunes. My favorite? Daffy Duck is Duck Tracy. I tell you, you watch some of these things and you have to wonder, were these guys high on ink fumes? Well, well. Why don't you come on in here and tell me a war story? Hard to believe it's been 150 years since the Civil War. Why, it seems like only 50 years ago, it was 100 years since the Civil War. Anyway, Ron Maxwell has already made two of the most definitive movies about the war, Gettysburg and Gods and Generals. And now he's made a third. And this one's about a New York town torn apart between those who supported the war and those who opposed it. Copperhead is coming to both theaters and video on demand, and it co-stars Peter Fonda. You know, just seeing Peter Fonda again takes me back to our Easy Rider days when the two of us took off on our bikes to find America. Well, that's it for now. If you love movies, and I know you do, make sure you subscribe, like, share, and comment down below. I love reading what you think about the current crop of movies for grown-ups. And who played both Dracula and Frankenstein back in the day? Well, that would be Bela Lugosi. He was great as Dracula, of course. Welcome, children of the night. But really, his Frankenstein, that was just a lot of grunt work. Rawr! 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 Hey, make sure to catch my pal Jeff Yeager for terrific tightwad tactics each week, only on AARP's Cheap Life channel. That guy is cheap.